Hello, Stephanie here from Simply On Demand. I am the creative as well as the design coach uh, from Simply On Demand. Today, I want to show you how Canva actually has given us the opportunity and the ability to build more than one brand kit. Brand kit. And this is suspicious. This is especially helpful if you're designing for your clients within Canva itself, if you're a virtual assistant or a social media manager. So let's go to my computer. So here we are on the Canva, on the home screen of um, the Canva desktop app. So what I want to show you is how to create an extra brand kit. Now, normally what we do is when we open brand kit, we have only brand only one brand kit, and that would be our own when Canva eventually loads. So this is our brand kit. This is my brand kit. I am simply on demand. Now what we can do is we can add a different brand kit, and that is at the top right-hand corner. Now, remember, adding a brand kit is a pro feature. So you need to, have, need to be subscribed to Canva Pro in order to add a brand kit or even an additional brand kit. To add an additional brand kit, simply click on the plus add brand kit button over here. And now you have the opportunity to name your brand kit. We are simply going to name it test kit for the purposes of this demonstration. Now here we have, you can edit your test kit name by just clicking on it. Um, and then you can add your logos. Now, I don't have a logo set up as such. I am literally just going to add a photograph that I already have on my computer as a logo. So there you can see the logo is busy. The logo in air quotes is busy uploading. Over here, Canva has now given us a different opportunity as well to add the colors from the photograph itself or the logo itself to our um, brand kit. And this is especially helpful when someone else other than you or your client have developed the brand kit, uh, the logo itself. So then you can simply keep the colors and there it stays. And this is just the name of the of the photograph, um, 20 Feb JPEG. Now, what you can do is you can add your own color palette over here. So let's call the test kit palette, hit enter, and there you have it. Now, what you can do is you can add any number of colors that you possibly want to your brand kit. And as you can see, I am literally just adding to show you that you can add many colors. Over here, you can upload your, you can set your clients uh, fonts as well. Simply click on add a heading and pick a heading font, which would be, let's take that one simply because it's there, a subheading, choose a font simply because it is there, and then a body style. Let's get something that is that over there. Not that that actually would be a good body style, but you know what I mean. You can also upload your own fonts. Once again, this is a kind of a pro feature. And then you can access your uploaded fonts for this specific brand font by clicking on the uploaded fonts. When you're in your own brand kit, and I'll go back to that in a second, you have all of your uploaded fonts that you have uploaded under your own brand kit. Now, you may need to assign the um, fonts that you have already uploaded to your client as such. So how do we get to all the other brand kits, all of our brand kits together? Now, we've, we've set up this brand kit. This is it. It is set up the way we want it to be set up. So what we do now at the top, scroll to the top and click on brand kits. There you will find your brand kit as well as the one that you've just uploaded. If you no longer work with this client and the client has decided that they actually do not want to work with you any longer, for whatever reason, you can delete the brand kit. So this will open it, clicking on the name or anywhere on the brand kit itself. 
and clicking on the three dots will give you an opportunity to duplicate it for whatever reason or delete it. Now, when you click on delete, Canva gives you a warning that you are deleting it and it cannot be undone. So you have to click here. I understand this action can't be undone. Click on that and only now can you delete the brand kit. And there you've deleted the brand kit. So now to simply go back to your own brand kit, click on brand kits or not, or click on the brand kit itself. All right, and that's how easy it is. So here are the uploaded fonts that I uploaded previously under my brand kit. Now, some of these belong to clients who I design for, and others are just simply because I needed to see what they would look like on a design as such. And that is how easy it is to upload an additional brand kit. If there are any questions, I am here to answer that. Take care.